done that particular thing in your life, something you just did that you were caught. You need to be careful. In my house, there is this back corner. You don't always go there if you want to, except you want to do something terrible, except you have bad intentions. I was really, really mad in those days. I was an idiot. What did I do? I took a piece of cigarette and I went to that corner. It's kind of hidden. So I, I went in there and everyone said, hey, 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 hey. I said, hey, what? He said, stop, stop, stop. I said, stop what? I said, you know, when you are in that moment, when you don't know what to do, you just feel that you are hidden. It's just like as if you close your eyes and you feel you're safe. No, you are not. My dad was sitting 10 inches away from me under the mango tree reading his, his newspaper. He was just looking at me. What did I do? It was like this, and it was like this. I walked, he didn't say anything, he was just looking at me, as you are looking at me now. And I walked down to him. So his daddy, it was his school assignment. He said, I said, is it really that bad? I said, I'm not sure if I should try it again. I said, I'm sorry, Daddy. He said, I said, it was the devil's work. He didn't say anything. Be careful of that person that you will offend, that will not say anything or do anything, will not forgive you, and will not let you forgive yourself because they didn't do anything or say anything. Mr. President, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. And just so after that, because I was so crazy in those days, me and my boys, we decided to, it's going to be 24th December, let's have a party. And they said, okay, that's nice. So about 10 of us invited in our girlfriends and everywhere, my house, was the venue. So, the party started. And what we did was this. As we were going to have this party, it was, it was supposed to be for use, for just friends and well wishes. So, my stepmom helped us to prepare the meal. And what was this meal? It is called pepper soup. From those of you that are from Africa or, or um, South America, you might know what pepper soup is. It is a spicy dish that is made from either turkey, chicken, or beef. <coughs> Lots of assorted are in it that when you just see the bowl, you just can't prevent yourself from having a bit or a bite. So we provided the money for everything, and my stepmom came and she cooked it. <coughs> While she was cooking, the aroma was dazzling. So she went to her room to get something. I don't know what it was. Myself, and my friend in crime who went there to where this massive big pot was. What did we do? How many of you have seen weed in real, in real life? Weed. Do you know how weed looks when it is raw and fresh? Yeah. Oh my God. They said, man made beer. God made weed. <laughs> and in God, we trust. <laughs> that thing is bad. What did we do? Because it was fresh, I don't know where they got it from. And that dish we were making, because it's spicy, it means more sweetening. <laughs> and we wanted to have a very good party. So, we put the weed in there. Loads of it. It's green, so it's... And there is another drink called palm wine. Who knows what palm is? Palm. The palm tree thing. When you tap it, there's a juice from it. It is white. It is so good. Ordinarily, if you drink just this, when it is raw and fresh, just this, you might be inspired. Or when you ask something to read, it will be up there. So, we boiled it, this same way. It makes everything sweet. We added it again to the drink, and we shook the 20 liters. My dad had guests upstairs, and we didn't know that my stepmom was going to entertain my father's guests with 
that thing that we've done. <laughs> <laughs> the DJ was doing his thing downstairs, the boys were dancing. We have not been served yet. She just went over, took it, and gave it to the men upstairs. They were drinking, they were eating. <coughs> Why are we just downstairs having fun, chatting and dancing? And after about 20 minutes, I noticed something was going on upstairs. And what was it? It was my house anyway. So I walked into the living room upstairs. And but my, fire, my father, when he's inspired, what does he do? He talks a lot. He just starts talking. <laughs> Speaking his big, big grandma. He loves books a lot. So when I got there, I mean, I saw my father was talking. Really talking. He was sitting down now, talking. And his friend was just looking at him, smiling. And the other guy was already standing and pacing while my father was what? Talking. Five minutes later, I came back. This time, my stepmom was nowhere to be found. She has no idea what's going on. I guess she was still in the kitchen. Five minutes, I came back. My dad was what? Still talking. This time, he took off his shirt. <laughs> He took his shirt off, put it in his shoulder. What was he doing? Talking. So who? Somebody who was smiling. How was he smiling? <laughs> <laughs> he was smiling. The other guy was just walking around. Just walking. I was saying, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> and I went to pick my friend. When I came back to go and call my friend, the man pacing was not doing what? He took off his shoe, and he was not looking inside his shoe. <laughs> I don't know what was in there, but he was just looking at it, and in really God we trust. And the man who was looking at my father talking was now... <laughs> I, I, was, I was just crazy. Now I know I'm in trouble. But definitely, up till now, my dad did not know what happened. This was about 16, 15 years ago. My father had no idea what happened. My stepmother was the one to blame, and I just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what happened at the end of the day, why those guys ate and drank from the same pot and, 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 and cake. About two days later, from 24th, it was now 27th, we've got this habit of going for picnic. And the picnic is, is a two hours drive from my state in Nigeria to a place, it's called Delta State. And what happened was, it was in this very beautiful Range Rover spot, and three guys, one was driving, I was I at the passenger seat, two girls on the car at the back. What were we doing? We were playing music, we were cruising, and we were mashing this car. As we were going, 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 every car we overtook on the road, we just chant. <laughs> we scream. And at times, we do a flip. We move on. In Nigeria, there's no speed limit. You can drive anyhow you like. Once you only see that limits your speed are checkpoints. And who are in these checkpoints? Is it that the army or is the police? And every checkpoint is every 20 or 30 minutes. It depends on the insecurity in the road. What did we do? We had to cherry, just having fun, just mashing, because we were going on the picnic. So before we got to the picnic, there was this car that we had to overtake, which my friend tried, but he couldn't. The guy blocked him. My friend tried, but he couldn't. The guy blocked him. And later, after three attempts, he overtook him. And we started sharing again. We flipped. This time, this time, an idiot sitting at the back threw a bottle of water. The checkpoint was just 10 minutes away. We got to the checkpoint, we all stood there. This car drove from, from enters the other lane and came to the checkpoint. He told all of us to come down. It was just this old man and one boy. What did we, we didn't know that this old man was a police inspector. The boy was his low rank officer. And the police, it was just transferred from one state to another. And the police there in the checkpoint were all his boys. Our life was literally over. <laughs> we didn't get to go to this picnic again. Our car was just there. It belongs to my friend's father. And we, we, they took our phone. They took everything. 
And we got the beating of our life. <laughs> Do you know at the end of the day when somebody really beats you, really whip you, you feel peace? We felt peace. We were inspired. <laughs> <laughs> We spent the entire day there with those people until their shift was over, before they allowed us to go. Ladies and gentlemen, just be careful in how you have fun. Just this evening, I thought I had grown up. As I was coming this evening, I bought a pack of cigarettes because I couldn't find just a single piece of cigarette. So my lady, I don't know, I don't smoke, I don't know how my lady found me sneaking this idiot inside my pocket. I was just putting it in my pocket and she said, what was that? I said, what did you, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I left the house. Now, how am I going to explain to the poor lady that this was supposed to be for education? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.